All right, number five, we want to know how many ways can a president, vice president, and secretary be chosen from a committee of 12 people? In this example, the fact that we're choosing president, vice president, and secretary indicates that there are difference, differences in those jobs or job titles. Uh, they will have different responsibilities. Therefore, uh, any order that you pick these uh, three people in will make a difference because they will be given different jobs and different responsibilities. So in this example, we have to determine, do we use permutations or combinations? And based on what, we've, what I've just mentioned, you're going to want to use permutations. So you have 12 people. You're going to be picking three of them, president, vice president, and the secretary. So the formula that we need is 12 factorial over 12 minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 12 minus 3 is 9. So over 9 factorial. And then we will have to do 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. We'll stop there. And the 9 factorial on the bottom will divide out. So 11 times 12 is 132, times 10 is 1,320. All right, number six. <clears throat> Electronic store receives a shipment of 40 graphing calculators. Five are defective. Four calculators are selected to be sent to a high school. How many of these will contain no defective calculators? Okay, so this problem is combining uh, the fundamental counting principle from the previous section where you have to multiply each of those multi-stage events and the number of outcomes with the combination. So we have to use combination to figure out how many are in the group and then multiply those together. So we're given at the beginning there are 40 calculators, 5 are defective. So right now I'm going to start out splitting these into groups. 5 that are defective out of 40 that leaves 35 that are not. So we got 40 calculators all together, five are defective, so that means 35 are not. And then they say we want to, it says four of the calculators are selected to be sent to a high school. And we want to know how many of these selections of four will contain no defective. So out of the 35, that means we have to choose all four from this group and that means out of these five that are defective, we have to pick none of them. All right, so we'll do these two um, calculations. So five factorial, five minus zero factorial times zero factorial. And then over here we have 35 factorial over 35 minus four factorial times 4 factorial. And we're going to multiply these two together at the end. <clears throat> now, the fact is uh, 0 factorial is 1. And so we have 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial times 1. And so you just end up with 5 factorial over 5 factorial, which is also equal to 1, which divides itself out. So we just end up with 1 here. Over here, uh, we're going to spell this out 35, 34, 33, 32, and 34 minus 1 is, I'm sorry, 35 minus 4 is 31. So I'm going to stop at 31 factorial right here because this part right here is going to be 31 factorial, and that's going to divide out. Then we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We can do 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 will divide 32. 
leaving us with 4. And then 3 will divide 33, leaving us with 11. So 35, 34, 11, and 4. 35, 34, 11, and 4. So we have to multiply those numbers. We're going to do 35 times 34 times 11 times 4. Right, so up there, 35, 34, 11, and 4. Okay, so that gives us 52,360. So we would just multiply that times 1, and we would get the same thing. Running out of room. 52,360. So there are that many ways to pick groups of four calculators where none of them are defective.